returns probably can't stay as high as, as they have been the last few years. Not only is there a problem, but the biggest challenge is to find the right people. UK investors have maintained their property holdings as share prices have tumbled around the world. But property, usually a safe haven during volatile times, has not escaped unscathed from the subprime mortgage crisis. To the extent that that has become associated with a general tightening in credit markets and a reduction in liquidity, uh, then yes, that will have an impact in the property investment market. Um, the market has obviously over the past few years been strongly influenced by um, the expansion of uh, credit, huge growth in bank debt for uh, property investment. We're clearly in a different era now where cheap money is no longer there and not going to be so plentiful and that is going to impact on the, on the market. So with no clear sight and end to the financial volatility, what can we expect from the UK property investment market? I think inevitably while there's so much uncertainty surrounding financial markets at the moment, there'll be a degree of caution. Uh, I think we are in the property investment market going to see, as we're seeing in investments market generally, a degree of repricing of risk. I think we'll see a widening of the differential in yields between prime property and secondary property, which had become very compressed. Uh, I think still over the medium term, the prospects for property uh, look relatively robust, provided this financial market upheaval does not transmit seriously negative impacts into the real economy and an impact on occupational demand. If it remains a financial market correction, uh, then property I would expect to weather that reasonably well, given that there is going to be a degree of repricing in the short term, we have to accept that. Despite UK REIT shares sliding 20% over the past fortnight, there is still cause for cautious optimism, even for UK fund managers such as Invista, which has seen the value of its listed property funds fall. What we'll see and what we're expecting to see is that capital will, will, will move out of the riskier assets that's already happening. Capital is moving away from emerging market bonds and equities. It will move into perceived less risky assets. And I think property fits quite nicely into that, into that bracket. Um, there's plenty of research to show uh, that in the UK and in continental Europe that historically property has delivered good risk-adjusted returns. Um, and we're expecting capital to increasingly target property um, you know, given the, the strong risk-adjusted returns that, that it offers and, and the perception that it's a less risky asset. It is that perception that the industry is hoping will see it through the turmoil, says Jones Lang LaSalle's Tony Harrell. One of the reasons that people buy into the real estate sector is for the fundamentals of real estate. You know, rental growth, uh, a good high level of income return, etc. All of those things are today better than they've been for the last two years. So it just seems to me that you know, you could have at a macro level quite a lot of worrying, but the fundamentals for real estate still look fairly strong. And I still believe that there is a, a depth of money overhanging the market which will actually continue to drive transaction volumes. The crisis also comes at a time when UK property returns are slowing, prompting British investors to look across the channel for better returns. There will develop some, some, some different uh, effects in different European markets. My own view is we potentially will start to see a two-speed Europe. Um, and if I look at the UK, which of course is the largest market in, in, in Europe, outside of central London, you know, one can perhaps envisage a, a slowdown in activity as you see a, a standoff between owners and purchasers' aspirations. At the same time, for those uh, less leveraged buyers, so you think about the institutions, for example, or the, the German open-ended funds, or indeed the sovereign funds, funds, those people who are not borrowing quite such high leverage, this is a great opportunity to buy certainly when you think about the core and the prime end of you know, various markets. And with sustained rental growth in London and in certain markets on the continent expected to remain, it's not quite as gloomy as feared. There's a strong cyclical story in the market. Um, we're seeing rental growth in commercial property assets accelerating. Uh, there has been a strong yield compression story which has helped total returns. We've seen that continue into this year. So. We're fully expecting a strong 2007 number of uh, total returns. Um, and going forward, you know, we see that cyclical story continuing, which will drive total returns. If that holds true, then the current crisis could prove to be more of a blip than a crash for UK property investors. Paul Yandel, EGTV.